This is going to be good. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Wrench. On this episode, we're going to make a portable, cheap sim racing rig out of scraps and whatever else I can find around the house. So I've gotten a bit of the sim racing bug lately and I realized once I clamped it to my desk and had the foot pedals below and everything was pulling off and I couldn't hit the brake as hard as I wanted to that I needed to build a dedicated rig for it. Now, I don't live in a house where I can just have a corner dedicated to a sim racing rig so this thing has to be portable and I also have a really awesome extensive home theater so I didn't really need to put monitors on the actual rig. What you're about to see is a prototype that's really just built overall for design and placement of the parts. And now that I have it fairly fleshed out in terms of how I want it set up, uh, I will disassemble it and cover it in nice materials, paint it, make it look really good, and then hopefully get to play some games and, and move it around at will. This is the setup so far. I have a Logitech G920 and an Xbox. This seat is actually from my Porsche. So it's got that cool vintage RSR vibe. And then this is just like almost like a little end table that I built. Um, this is like a little piece of Ikea table and a couple of legs I had around. And then some plastic that I'm using actually for my uh, jack in the bag on the bottom. And then it's just basically propped up on each end. I've got it tilted up on the uh, seat and I've got it tilted up for the pedals and it's quite comfortable it feels really good and it's pretty small so the plan is i'm going to uh, trim all these parts i'm going to trim the plywood here i'm or excuse me i'm going to trim the two by four and so it's just on the inside i'm going to trim the plywood until it's just at the very end and i'll do the same on the front end of the pedal box where I'll just trim this up so it's really short. I'll probably round the corners off on all this stuff just so it's not uh, a sharp point. And then I'm gonna cover the entire uh, floor in the same material I used for my frunk recover and for this. So I built this false wall here to hold up this television uh, and covered the same material that I used on the um, on the front as well. So that's when I was building my desk out and I just actually finished this up. It looks really good. And um, yeah, so I'll probably use the same material for that. It's really durable and it's kind of the same felt they use for speaker boxes. So imagine that whole thing in that black felt and then I've got it basically so I'll, I'll sit right here in front of the home theater and then I'll be able to rock like a hurricane. Then the plan is to be able to turn it around and put it in that corner facing the other way so it just sort of goes low key. I'm going to measure everything up and disassemble this thing now so I can get it ready for paint and covering and all the things. So let's do it. to point out is this is a this is a really beefy piece of plywood I want to say it's like seven eighths of an inch might even be an inch but it's super stiff which is why I decided to make it a base versus um, just kind of building a big two by four around it plus it's gonna be a little lighter but this is a really old kind of vintagey piece of wood and um, I'm gonna cover it anyway so no big but I'm gonna cut off each end now and then make sure I've got measurements uh, for all the other pieces and then cover it with my um, my felt.
So, I was gonna do a little bit more. If you see, I got some really nice wood for this piece. This is like walnut, it's really nice. So I was gonna leave it, but I actually decided to say screw it. And I'm gonna just paint, I'm painting it all. And uh, just kind of hitting it because I just want it to be done. I, I'm not super worried about it. And I think it'll be a little more low key. This stuff, some of my favorite paint to have in the garage. It dries super fast. It's from VHT. I use it for roll bars. I use it for a bunch of stuff in my car. I got gloss and semi-gloss. So I'm just gonna hit literally all of this stuff, all these pieces of wood. And then I'm gonna focus on wrapping the entire base with the black felt. I'm running out of light, so I gotta make this quick. I'm gonna leave this stuff to dry and go wrap the base. So one small challenge is once I get the black felt, which looks like this, there's a, a soft side and a kind of a shiny side. Anyway, once I get it on the base, I'm not gonna be able to tell where all the hardware goes. So what I'm doing here is I put down a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna trace the piece on the cardboard. So I have an exact location. So I'm doing these little call outs right here where they align with, you know, the front of the foot pedal. This is where the screws are for the foot pedal. So I can just put front and then I can put screws and then we can put foot. So now I can uh, hit this thing with adhesive. Everybody has their own method for this. What I like to do is get it set up so I can just drop it, and then I just lay it this way. That way I can spray it, and then spray the, the piece at the same time. So for this I'm using Super 7-7, which I got from 3M, Super 7-7, which I got from um, O'Reilly's. And then this is the felt. I will link this felt up in the description uh, below. stick when you roll it over. You went a little bit too early. This one, it was like a minute, but some of them take longer. So this is what I'm left with. Right now I've got these nice flat sides and they're sticking down great. And then I have these corners that are 
that are not. So what I'm going to do is you have to be really aggressive pulling this corner over. Um, I still like to do the flat part. So I'll do the flat part first a little bit like that. And then I'm going to give this a good amount of tension. This is still smooth all the way around the edge. And then it starts puckering once we get to the top. And that's fine because I'll be able to trim that off. So as you can see, you have a couple of minutes of, um, of usable time here while it all it's setting up and if, 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 if you find that it's um, you know it folded weird you can always pull it up and you get another chance this stuff is pretty forgiving um, and this material is really easy to stretch all right so I've got the light really cranked up on this so you guys can see it so what I've been doing is just pulling and stretching this over the corner and consequently this ends up being a very smooth transition all the way around then of course I have all this stuff that's bunched up and if you have really sharp scissors, which I don't, all you have to do is sort of lay them flat and you can just cut these things off. I will, I'm gonna do my best to try to do that, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Um, and then I'll basically I'll just take a razor blade and come in a couple inches and just trim all the way around. sort of do this. Well, that's sort of working. You can just do this and it'll flatten those things right out. You just push them down and then pretty solid. And this is what it looks like on the other side. Perfect wrap. Looks great. So I did promise to make this portable and to do that I took a visit to our favorite store. I chose them because they look like skateboard wheels. They're uh, clear polyurethane. I thought they would look cool underneath if somebody spotted them. So I'm just gonna throw these on again. Keep it nice and easy. I got five of them, so I'm gonna check and see what the flex is like in the middle. And uh, if it bows too much, then I'm gonna use the, the fifth one in the middle. Oh yeah. So I've got this thing pretty well aligned with my template here. Um, you can see it's sort of right over the top and that way I can see where everything lines up. The edge of this is right in line with this. So my screws are right there, which is obviously accurate. And then um, my seat front is gonna go right around here. So I'll feel around for the bolts. And then I've actually just added this rear piece, which I didn't have on originally. And I'm um, using that so that the seat actually has a place to slide back if it needs to. So I'm gonna do a kind of a dry fit before I bolt everything in and make sure that everything is pretty much aligned the way it needs to be. This is the dry fit. I think it looks really good. So nothing's really screwed in yet. It's just kind of, again, sort of set up to where I made the marks on the cardboard. I don't know if you can see those. So I'm gonna screw this stuff in and then get it over to where it's gonna be. All right, seat's mounted. The final push is just to get the base now screwed down and, um, and then the, the wheel mounted up. So I'm gonna to wanna to dial in my wiring here I want to kind of put everything where it's going to be, make sure that I can wire this thing. I've got this little cable management thing, whatever it is, and I'm just going to tap it into the underside here. Almost forgot, i got to bolt the wheel down. So these are M6. Uh, it's an Allen bolt. It's 35 millimeters long. It's an M6. All right. down. I'm going to come straight off. I just want to wrap them so they're a little bit underneath here. The nails are too long. 
Here's a little detail of what I just did. So I ran these three down. They loop underneath with this guy. Come this way. I've got them zip tied up top here. And they run down the inside leg to here. And then these two are separate. And that goes to the brake pedal. One thing I might do is I might actually throw some Velcro, the, uh, the hook side on the underside of this. So that way I can just stick it right there and it'll just stay. And then um, this is the other side of the USB and we are ready to roll. We're super secure. Everything feels good. Everything's straight and lined up and we can race some cars now. Cool. Disconnect two things. I can move it right out of the way, move it right into the corner of the room. No problemo. Drag it in, put my coffee table back. Good to go. Well, that was it. I can roll it out of the way when I don't need it. Uh, it's great. It's really easy to move. It's easy to get in. It feels great. In fact, right out of the gates, my lap times were pretty solid. So uh, if you guys play a set of Corsa, let me know or uh, Project Cars and maybe we can race against each other. Anyway, um, everything I can think of to put in the description below that will help you, including dimensions of the plywood, the wheels I got, you know, the tools I used, I'll throw it in the, uh, the description below. But this was just a fun video. Hope you guys dug it. I'll see you next time.